Hello everybody, how are you doing? I'm here today with a nice laser cut blank. This is called the Sierra Stacked Segmentation Blank. It uses three different types of wood. I've got walnut, maple, and I believe what is Paduke. This blank came from Cobb Brothers Woodworking. Uh, when I received the blank, it had a wooden dowel down the center. Uh, I removed that dowel and replaced it with a uh, 27 64 inch uh, tube for a Monarch pin kit. And uh, it's been epoxied into the blank. It's had plenty of time to dry and we are ready to turn this gorgeous blank. This blank turned very well. I'm happy with how it looks. The shape is perfect. Uh, before I start sanding, I'm gonna apply one coat of Thin CA. And the main reason why is we have two darker woods associated with a lighter wood. And if we don't do something to protect the light wood, we're gonna end up bleeding uh, into that light wood and uh, it'll just ruin the blank. Now we do not want to use activator. We want to let this, that's going to be gorgeous when it's done. We're going to let this thing dry naturally. Maybe a minute and a half is all it'll take. And then we'll be back to begin sanding. This blank where it was cut and assembled, there are a lot of little gaps between the pieces. That's pretty normal with a laser blank. We need to fill those with CA, but before we do that, we gotta make sure we get all of the dust out of those areas. I'm just using a soft bristle toothbrush, and uh, we're gonna switch over to some denatured alcohol. Wipe the blank back and forth. This is gonna help a lot. You see the bleed on that paper? That is from the darker wood, most likely the Paduke. Uh, and had we not put a coat of CA on here, that would have bled right into the walnut. I'm sorry, the maple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, denatured alcohol flash off the blank. Then we're going to come back and give it a close once over and make sure we get rid of any, uh, any flaws that we can find or any dust that we can find between the pieces. We do not want to touch this with our fingers because we don't want to transfer any of the oil from our fingers onto the blank. So we'll be using an acetate brush to clean out any dust that we can find. I am gonna let it dry first so that it's a little easier to see what we're working with. Blank looks pretty good. I'm just rolling it and looking for any dust that might be left uh, between the pieces. Looks pretty darn good to me. I'm gonna go ahead now and begin putting CA. Blank is gonna look really nice. Finished up the CA. We're ready to get this pin off of the nonstick bushings and take it over, square the ends up to get rid of that CA glue fingernail, and then we'll uh, buff it with a little micro mesh and see what she looks like. Notice how the CA is already separating from the bushings. We can just pop it off. We're gonna get a fingernail at each end, and that's what we're gonna clean up over on the disc sander. I've got the ends of the blank cleaned up, got it back on the turning bushings, and we are ready to micro mesh. Blank turned out really nice. Very happy with it. The only issue that I have is there's a little bit of bleed on this end. You can kind of see. That'll be up by the cap. It won't really show all that well. But uh, you know, I can't uh, I can't really offer this up as a uh, number one quality pin. So not exactly sure what we'll do with this particular blank. 
I have a Gatsby kit here. It is gunmetal and black. I think it's going to look really nice with the blank. Let me just put the uh, clip assembly in and press it into place. Looks like we need a little more pressure there, so let's bring up another one of our blocks there. There we are. Oh, yeah, that's a really nice fit. We need to press the nib coupler into the other end. That fits really well too. It's gonna to actually look really nice with this kit. All right, let's put the nib on. We'll just thread it on, tighten it down. Transmission. Actually, we put the uh, ink refill in first. Um, I'm missing a spring. Let me dig around and see if I can find the spring. I may have dropped it onto the floor, but we should have a spring to go onto the ink refill, and then we're able to put it into the pin. Give me one second. I never did find what happened to that spring. I'm sure it rolled off onto the floor and I kicked it somewhere, but I keep spare parts in the shop, so I grabbed a spare spring from my uh, extra components. We'll drop the refill in. Transmission goes in next, and we just thread it into place. Get everything nice and tight. Work the uh, transmission a little bit to get it lubricated. Take our cap, snap it on. Oh, yeah. It's going to be really nice. Take a look at that. A really good looking pin. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. It's a gorgeous day out. You can tell I've got the back door open. Uh, it's going really well until one of my neighbors fires up a leaf blower, which has been happening all day long. So I've had that door open to let the air in and then have to close it to uh, compensate for the blower. But here is my pin. It turned out really nice. This is a gorgeous blank, beautiful pin. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. I'd like to thank you for joining me for this quick little turn. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.